Hi, I'm Marissa Ann, the media fan. Today, I'm here to show you the workflow for editing multiple cameras using Apple's Final Cut Pro editing software. The footage in today's example is of music legend Darlene Love performing at San Francisco's Stern Grove Festival. The concert was filmed with eight cameras. It's important to note that each of them recorded reference audio as well. The higher quality multi-track audio was recorded to hard drive and mixed to stereo. All footage was imported into an external folder so it can be accessed by this project and any other project in the future. In Final Cut Pro's browser, each clip was labeled clearly and accurately. It's time to create the multicam clip. Although we can make it from the entire concert performance, we'll focus on Darlene's hit, He's a Rebel. It first made it to the number one spot in 1962. That was a little before my time. So create a range selection around that song for each camera with the title as a keyword to identify those selections. Now let's select all of those ranges. Hold down command and click on each of the key icons. Then from the file menu, select new multicam clip. The clip should also be labeled as well. Final Cut will automatically sync the cameras by matching their audio waveform. Once it's done, the clip will appear in the event browser. Multicam editing makes use of two primary tools, the project timeline and the angle viewer. So let's create a new project and bring our multicam clip into its timeline. The single track is where all your edits will appear. Now open the angle viewer and make sure that you set its display to the correct number of angles. The angle viewer is where you actively choose your cut. We'd like the audio signal to remain on the final stereo mix. So, let's set that up. First, make sure that the playhead is parked at the beginning of the timeline. In the angle viewer, click on the enable audio and audio switching icon. Then, click on the thumbnail of the master audio mix. Finally, click on the enable video only switching icon. Yay! Now we're ready to edit! To make a cut, just play the video and every time you want to switch to a different camera, simply click on it in the angle viewer. This is how the technical director does their switching for live broadcast. Of course, live switching doesn't give you the best edit. Fortunately, you can fine tune each cut by simply dragging the edit point to the desired frame. Or, you can simply drag the playhead back and forth and then click on the desired angle when you reach the perfect edit point. Pretty easy, huh? There are a lot more tools and techniques, but now you know the basic process. Now for the hard part, using your talent as an editor. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Thanks for watching. This is Marissa Ann, the media fan, signing off.